Hey, I'm Ernest with Upfix. Coming up in this video, we're gonna be talking about issues your unit might be having, the benefits of using our repair services and how Upfix can quickly and efficiently repair your unit. And then finally, we're gonna get into how easy and straightforward it is to send in your part for repair. This is the type of instrument cluster you'd find on a GMC Sierra 3500 model trim, 2003 to 2006. So I'm going to go over some of the most common issues that you might find on this particular instrument cluster panel. Uh, probably the most primary one would be the gauges. The gauges might not be working at all. They might be stuck in one position. When you turn off the vehicle, they don't go back to zero. That's typically a sign that the stepper motors inside this instrument cluster are going bad. We don't take the chance and replace all of them to make sure that they're all working properly and calibrate them back to factory specs. Another issue would be the backlights. Uh, these are incandescent bulbs. So meaning that they go out just because of age, wear and tear. We put brand new factory OEM spec bulbs in here, but there's also an upgrade that you can get on our website where you can get LED lights in there, uh, blue, green, red, etc. cetera. Um, so that's an issue also that we fix. Another issue would be the uh, two bottom displays. So the top display you have is the gear selector and the bottom is the trip information and also the odometer. Uh, one of the issues with the top one is it just simply just goes out. So you can't even see what gear you're going into. Um, and the bottom display issues would be probably the odometer error or language scrolling. Uh, with language scrolling, there's an issue with the circuit board, uh, particularly the, some of the power components that affect it from properly showing the odometer. And with the odometer error, basically we have to replace the hardware and reprogram the mileage back on here. Now that's included as part of the repair, but if you have that issue, we would immediately know right away and uh, notify you that there's an issue with the odometer error. With the power loss, that's another also common issue with these. And with power loss, you might be going over a speed bump and it comes back on. You might tap on the instrument cluster and it comes back to life. Other times when it's severe power loss, even when you turn the vehicle on, it doesn't come on at all and you might get a check engine light showing or the churning signals only come on, that's it. That's typically uh, indicative that there's a power loss issue, which is also uh, correlated with battery drain. If you have some type of corrosion or uh, power loss, you might also be having an issue with uh, battery drain, which is also caused from not power issues. So when we get these type of instrument clusters, we basically go over the whole thing, put all new lights, all new stepper motors, and take care of all the power issues so you're good to go for the future. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave some comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and you can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. And if you want to have any more information discussions, join our community, forums.uffix.com. See you next time.